Welcome to Mr. Biz Radio, biz talk for biz owners. If you're ready to stop faking the funk and take your business onward and upward, this show is for you. And now, here's Mr. Biz, Ken Wentworth. All right, welcome to another episode of Mr. Biz Radio with me, Mr. Biz, Ken Wentworth. And this week, we are going to talk about something that I know we've got a lot of listeners that are in this space, and I think you're getting a lot out of this. And there's pe- probably some people who listen to me watch the show that want to get into this space, and that is the space of e-commerce. And we have our guest this week is an absolute, when I say expert, it's all capital bold letters. This guy is an absolute expert in the e-commerce space and building e-commerce stores, et cetera. Um, Our guest this week is none other than Mr. Ebers Perozo. He is the founder and CEO of Ebers Enterprises and Mido Commerce. Ebers, welcome to uh, Mr. Biz Radio. Well, thank you very much for this big opportunity. And I hope all the people that I'm hearing right now we take good uh, advices for this business. And if they are willing to get into this business, they will know that this is the most profitable one at the moment or currently. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm excited to dive into some of that. Before we get to that, though, Edwards, walk us through, kind of tell us what your entrepreneurial journey has been. Well, it has been difficult, as most of the people know. I'm from Venezuela, which is a very hard country to live at this moment. So I went to another country before coming to the United States, which was Argentina. I lived there for almost three years. And then I decided to come to the United States because this is where the most and the biggest opportunities are for successful entrepreneurs and businesses. It wasn't really good at the first time because I lacked of connections, I lack of capital. Uh, There were a lot of things that I had to do to get into this point, too many sacrifices. Uh, I had to learn a lot previously. And you don't begin with money. That's the first sign. If you don't have like your parents supporting you, or if you don't have investors or people who do venture capital with you, Uh, you would have to to put the money from your pocket. So for me, it was an adventure. Um, I don't recommend for the people to do the things that I did because it was like crazy for most of the people. I just abandoned my job. I am a petroleum engineer because I graduated in Venezuela. So I quit my job as a petroleum engineer. Um, I decided to do this Amazon business but I didn't have enough capital to get money for the products. So I had to start other kind of jobs, which were really difficult and I abandoned them too. So it was really hard for me to get to this point. And I really hope that people, when they see me, they just don't see a common entrepreneur or a businessman, but I'm a human. I know that many of you will make mistakes is normal. Uh, You don't have to give up because of that. Uh, You don't have to be so hard on yourself if you make mistakes. But the most important thing is just to continue. Even if you get the things going wrong or if you make mistakes, it doesn't matter. Just try to do the things as you can. Uh, Be realistic. Be the most human possible and try to learn from your mistakes. And then Step by step, you will achieve your goals. But at the first sign, it's going to be really, really hard, not only on this business, but in many businesses that are currently right now, many people are doing, you know. So for me, it was difficult. Uh, I have many interviews in Forbes, um, EV Times, the Weekly, where I shared my, my, my history, and I almost end up on the streets because I couldn't afford even my rent. But that was a battle that I was willing to fight in order to get to this point. That was the the sacrifice that I did. I put everything on the table. I went all in and I said, if I become a successful person, I'm going to do it. But if it's not, or if this is not for me, I'm not going to let it be my thoughts or... I will say, okay, maybe maybe it's going to be some God's will. No, no, no. There were two options for me. 
first one to be successful or the second one to end up on the streets defeated and maybe God knows where. But that was my, my decision. That, that was what I did. And I encourage people to follow their dreams, not only because I want to say it or not only because I am a dreamer. No, I do it because if you follow yourself to the point where you can see what you can achieve, maybe if you don't know nothing in some weeks or some months or some years, you will get to that point and you will see that working for yourself for your company, for your dreams, and for your family is way better than working maybe for another person or trying to achieve or accomplish other people's dreams. That's what happened with me. I love to hear the commitment. I think that's so, so important that you mentioned. Uh, and I think it's something that, you know, like you said, you commit to being successful. You're going to do whatever it takes to be successful. I love to hear that. I'm curious, Abbott, what what led you into uh, into e-commerce? So you said you had a you had a nine to five, you had a job, you left that job. What what was the, the thing that caused you to say, hey, you know what, I want to do this e-commerce thing? Uh, it's a long story. I will try to keep it short. But um, my father, my, 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 biology, my biological father abandoned me when I was a child. And I was raised by my stepfather, which was an entrepreneur too. And he told me, I cannot give you money for your ideas or your businesses. I will only give you education. So I decided to study petroleum engineering. Once I graduated on Venezuela, it's kind of difficult to get a job. And once I got a job, they only pay me $1 per month. It's crazy, but it's $1 per month. So I said, no, there is no future in this country. I will have to move to another country. And then I went to Argentina and I said, okay, I, I saw many businesses, you know, but the first one that clicked on me was the e-commerce company, the, the business, well, this business. And I said, mm -hmm. okay, I will do it. Then I, I, I saw some videos, I researched everything on that, but I didn't have the money because you need to have money to buy the products and then to resell them, okay? So it, it was kind of difficult for me. I had to work in other many things. Um, then once I got some capital doing other businesses like trading, which was another story, I decided to move to the United States in order to accomplish that dream. And I left everything on Argentina. I mean, I have my cars, I have my apartment, I have my friends, but as I said, you need to do some sacrifices and maybe those sacrifices are really, really hard, but I had to do it. And then I come to the United States. And in here, I made good contacts with wholesalers, distributors, I made a company with my business partner, which is in Argentina, but he can come to the United States with his visa. Um, we just started over there, you know, we started getting clients. We started with our first Amazon store for ourselves. And then once we knew what we can sell and how to do it, we start offering that business to other people. But it was, it was really hard for, for example, for me, it was really hard to do it at first. But that's, that's how I got in here because I, I saw no future in my country. I didn't have help. And in the industry that I was supposed to be working, which is the oil industry, uh, in, my, in my country, I was not going to earn money. Yeah. All right. So, so uh, put a pin in that for a second. We'll come back after the break and we'll continue talking with Ebers Peroza. If you would like to reach hundreds of thousands of business owners every week, Mr. Biz Radio can help. Our show airs globally seven days a week for more than 25 hours across several internet radio stations plus 20 plus podcast platforms. Also, video exposure on the new exclusive Mr. Biz Network streaming channel, which gets blasted to 100 plus streaming platforms and the Mr. Biz YouTube channel and our 350,000 social media followers multiple times every week. Join Mr. Biz Nation as an advertiser by emailing us at info at MrBizSolutions.com. Are you ready to automate your business? Automation is the key to scaling a business and building wealth. It's also one of the most difficult things for a small business owner to do on their own. If you're looking for help with automation, Pulse Technology CRM can help. We have an exclusive offer for Mr. Biz Nation. We will build everything for free, even if it's a sophisticated funnel. 
Visit thepulsespot.com forward slash Mr. Biz for this exclusive offer. Question for Mr. Biz you want answered on air? Email it to info at mrbizsolutions.com. Now, once again, here's Mr. Biz. All right, welcome back to the show. It's time for the Mr. Biz tip of the week. And this week's tip is something that fits kind of nicely within what we're talking about. And that is uh, a lot of times you got business owners, especially if you're a solopreneur, you're just trying to bootstrap your business. Um, you got a you know, lack of capital, as, as Eberth mentioned uh, during the first segment. But the tip is to not DIY your business to its detriment. And what I mean by that is don't be afraid to hire expertise for big impact items, uh, expenses, et cetera, things that can really move the needle for your business, things such as legal. You know, you, you need to make sure you're legally protected in all ways. And, and not, uh, so it's not down the road going to impact your business in a very negative way. Uh, on the finance side of things, obviously, having a, a CFO, someone if you're not good at that. Find someone who can help you manage that. And it can they pay for themselves many times over because they can help you run your business more profitably, more efficiently. Real estate, you know, as you get into that, find someone who does that for a living and is an expert in that field. Um, you know, marketing, even if you're doing some marketing on your own, but you can hire someone and they can, do, you know, double or triple what you're doing because they're seeing it every day. They know what the algorithms are doing, et cetera, et cetera. And they're always changing. So don't be afraid to hire expertise for those things because those skills will pay for themselves many times over. So that's Mr. Biz Tip of the Week. And it's a great segue right into talking to Eberts about his business, Mid O'Commerce, um, that you can find out more about at midocommerce.com. So uh, Eberts, talk to us a little bit about that business and, and how you help folks uh, with that business. Well, as you mentioned like one minute ago, once I model the business, I basically have my team, I have my lawyer, I have an accountant, I have my CFO, my COO, I'm a co-CEO with my business partner. So we structure everything in order to get more people into the business. And once they are in the business, they can get like a personal communication with the team. So having our workers even in the in their stores, um, what I try to do with my community and I, what, what I try to do in my business is to give my customers the best experience as the best of said. Once you know what your customers want, do you have to performance that? Do you have to achieve that and a hundred percent? So I know that most of the people want like a personal relationship with the people they are doing business. So I try to talk with them and I put some workers on a group chat in order for them to have like real conversations, not a bot or something like that. In their stores, they can see the workers that are doing the job in their stores, like adding the products, shipping the products or things like that. Uh, we have our contract uh, with our lawyer, which he does it uh, in order to get like legal protection uh, mm -hmm. for us and for the customer because that's very important and we try to do an spreadsheet monthly with an accountant okay uh, for our customers to know what is being sold in their stores how much what the supplier price how much is the gross sales and things like that and how much is a profit of course so with our structure what I want people to know is that we cover everything, even deactivation, because in this business, the biggest problem for all the people, even for mentors and other people who, who offer this kind of business is the deactivations. I mean, we cover that because we have a system through FBA, which is fulfillment by Amazon. So, we basically, from, from the wholesalers or distributors, we send the products to Amazon in order for them to ship the products. So they basically touch your products, the ones that you are selling. And we have good relationships with brands, wholesalers, and distributors. So it's not only that you search for a product with your softwares, like Keepa, Ace Inside, or things like that. No, we have good distributors or brands, which we have good relationships so it's not going to be a scam you're not going to lose your money in, in products that maybe are not going to go to the amazon warehouse 
or maybe it's not gonna be sold once it's in the Amazon warehouse. No, we cover all of that. And one of the biggest problems, as I said, is the drop shipping thing on many Amazon stores or Walmart stores or other stores or like Shopify because drop shipping is like not so good at this moment on Amazon. So you can get, get deactivated by section three. And once the account is deactivated, Amazon take your funds and they hold them from a period from 30 days to 90 days. So imagine someone who used a credit card to buy like the product. They have to do the minimum payment or they have to pay the whole credit card if it's an annex. So it's kind of difficult for, for entrepreneurs doing this kind of business to have a good structure like I do. Because if they get deactivated, not only the money is, is on hold, but the deactivation process can take really long. So you have to make an appeal. You have to, you need to have your team for the appeal and maybe you will not get the response that you want. So it's really, really hard. But my team cover all of that. You will not get the activations with me because you have a really good team, which is like enforced with Amazon. And we, work, we work together. We're really transparent. The client can see the Amazon store. They can see our inventory there. They can see who we sold the product and how it was shipped because it was Amazon who shipped it. So that's basically the structure of our business and the advantages that we have uh, from other people who offer this business too. Because you will see that one or two years ago, many people wanted to have an Amazon store or many other people wanted to sell the service. But right now it's like getting less and less and less and less people willing to do it. But because of that, and since the first moment, we knew that was a problem, not an advantage, because that was, for most of the people, was like bread for today and problems for tomorrow. And we said, no, let's take a home. Let's take it easy, okay? Let's try to do it this good in order to create long-term relationships, which is the best way to keep your customers and reach maybe all their future clients. That's what I think. Yeah, I absolutely agree 100%. Guys, I will tell you, you should go out and check out uh, Ebert's website, midocommerce.com, yeah. midocommerce.com. Check it out because, you know, as he alluded to, they will help you build your e-commerce business from A to Z. So they'll help you determine what products, what, how to price them, how to sell them. They'll do the distribution for you. They'll work through any issues with Amazon, as he had mentioned which is one of the key things. I know I've heard it from other folks as well that have tried to do the uh, Amazon selling via Amazon and they run out of problems. Amazon's a, a very particular, and they can be because they're the giant, right? And so they're very particular about things and they are, will not hesitate at all, as he mentioned, to just shut down your whole operation because they, they don't have to be taught, you know, they can make the rules, right? They're, they're the, big, the big cheese. And so that's a big problem with people trying to sell on Amazon. And that's one of the things that Ebert's company will help you do. Again, midocommerce.com. At least go out and check it out and see what, if you're interested in that space. We're going to hit a break here. We're going to come back and we're going to get some, you can hear his expertise. You can hear how good Ebert's is at this. We're going to pick his brain a little bit and get him to give us some tips on starting that e-commerce business. So let's say you want to get into e-commerce, but you're not sure where to start. You want to make sure that you avoid some of the pitfalls, some of the challenges. We're going to get some tips from Everts to, to tell us things that we should be doing and some pitfalls we can avoid in the whole process and the challenges to be successful. So come back after the break on Mr. Biz Radio. How would you like to have direct access to Mr. Biz to help you run your business more profitably and more efficiently? At MrBizSolutions.com, you get live access to not only Mr. Biz, but also several of his hand-picked and trusted business experts, each with 20-plus years of experience to help you optimally manage and grow your business. That's just the start of where Mr. Biz Solutions begins. Learn more at MrBizSolutions.com. That's MrBizSolutions.com. Business owners have a continually growing to-do list with little time for revenue-producing activities. With Check Off Your List and their experienced team of virtual assistants, you can focus on growing your business. Visit CheckOffYourList.com to learn how Check Off Your List's skilled team can handle your day-to-day -day tasks 
like social media, bookkeeping, calendar maintenance, and much more. Contact Check Off Your List at checkoffyourlist.com or call 888-262-1249 to see how their virtual assistants can help you live to work rather than work to live. Check out all three of Mr. Biz's best-selling books at mrbizbooks.com. Now, once again, here's Mr. Biz. All right, welcome back to the show. And again, we're talking with Mr. Ebers Perozo, who is the CEO and founder of Ebers Enterprises and Mid O Commerce. And again, midocommerce.com, you can check out um, how they how they can help you get started in the e-commerce world, specifically with the Walmart stores, Amazon stores, et cetera. But all that aside, Evers, give us some tips. I know you have, you're a wealth of knowledge in this space. What are some tips for, you know, we need to do and, and, and not do maybe um, in getting started in the e-commerce world? Okay. First, um, when you are running your e-commerce business, what you need to take into consideration is that, number one, you just won't make it in one or two months. This is a long-term relationship with your clients and a long-term business. So first, you need to know that you won't become rich at first. I mean, not in one month, not in two months, because you need to get reviews on your store. You need to create a relationship with Amazon. They need to know that what you're selling is not illegal and it's not bad for customers. And you need to create good relationships too with your brands or your wholesalers or your distributors. You need to check if it's true what they're selling to you or if Amazon is willing to sell it. So that's the first thing. Second thing is that you need to know everything about the business. It's not something that you will learn in the process. Maybe you will learn some things during the process, but before that, as every other business, you need to take care of everything first. You need to know how to cover any mistake that can be done in the future and how to repair it. So once you know everything about the business, the third thing is that when you're dealing with people, you need to know that everybody's different. Sometimes you will see a good investor which has a lot of money to buy products. And sometimes you will see other people which they don't have a lot of credit or a lot of money but they know how to start or they have enough money to start their inventory. So you need to separate those people and need to know how to deal with this kind and how to deal with this other kind with the same respect, okay? And even with that, you need to know that if you have $1 million for products or if you have only $10,000 for products, that makes no difference. I mean, as I said, at the first month, you cannot start selling like crazy because you need to study the products that you're going to put in your store. Second, you need to find a good wholesaler or distributor. And third, once you start selling, you need to find all their products because there are some products that cover the whole year, but there are some products, all their products, that only cover sometimes. I mean, they can be in sales for three months or they can be on sales for six months, but you don't know. Maybe your software will tell you, but not, not all the softwares are accurate. So you need to be like very intelligent because you can make your investor lose money and you will be losing money too. So that's the third thing. And the last thing is that keep it calm, take it easy, try to make a lot of money. Of course, everybody wants to be rich. Everybody wants to make money. We, and I, I include myself, we want to have the Ferrari or the Lamborghini, the Rolex, the Patek Philippe, and make some travels, buy the house. But wait, you will do it. Of course, you will do it with hard work, with hard work, okay? So take care of your clients, take care of your products, take care of your system, and don't rush it. Because everything that has been done in that way on history has become a bad deal and ended up really bad. Those are my advices. Just to know what you're doing, take care of your customers, try to learn why you make mistakes every single time. Try to be good with your investor. Try to explain them the situation. Don't make them lose money. Even if they have 
one million dollar from the products and that will make a good profit for you too. No, try to try to do step by step the things. Don't rush it. Okay. Once you are three months or six months or a year doing a good job, you can increase even much more the sales. But try to do it in an organic way, not rushing the things because it's gonna end up really bad, really, really bad. It's like trading. Yeah. Like trading, if you start earning a hundred dollars or five hundred dollars or a thousand dollars per day, that's good because at the end of the month it's gonna be good money. But if you had a good run and then you just went crazy and started like losing ten thousand dollars a day or things like that, just because you wanted to rush the things and earn a lot of money to buy the car or to buy the watch, no. You need to be as human, as most human as possible. Be humble. And then you can get your things. You can get your car. You can get your pretty girlfriend. You can get your pretty house. But first things first, your clients and your company. Those are the most important things. Yeah, I love it. I love it. We've only got a couple minutes left, but um, I want to I ask you one more thing that I think will be really important. And that is, what, what would you say, Everts, is the, the number one biggest challenge in starting an e-commerce business? I believe that the biggest challenge in this particular business is not get deactivated. Because mm. maybe you will have $1 million for products. And maybe you are in the United States, you are not an outside person for another country. So you will have the opportunity to create your LLC and things like that. So you have everything covered. But if, if at the first month you get deactivated, you ruin it. Amazon will hold your money because you are doing drop shipping. You will spend almost one year trying to get deactivated on Amazon to give you your money back because they want to know what you were selling. So what makes the difference? Knowing what you're doing. Do FBA. That's it. Don't do FBM. Don't hire people from India or from Pakistan or things like that in order to get an upfront fee to get money quick. No, you can get your money, but try to do the things in a good system with maybe distributor or wholesalers here in the United States to help even our economy. So once you get a good wholesaler and good products, you just send it to Amazon. Do FBA. That's it. There is no... This is, this is not a ladder where you're going to go up all the time and not an elevator where you will go up all the time. No, no, this is not like that. And businesses are not like that. Don't get deactivated. That's the only thing that I will have to say. Because the people who know from this business and the ones that are hearing my words, they will say, he knows what he's doing. Because that's the only problem. You, you can have money and you can have your company and you can have everything. But if you don't know how to do, if you don't know how to do FBA, it's going to crush you. That's it. It's going to crush you. Yeah, certainly we'll catch up with you. No doubt about that. And I think that's what, as you mentioned before, I think that's where a lot of people were getting into the Amazon space, got caught up in that because they, and they got deactivated, et cetera. And like you said, that's absolutely just crushes your business. Uh, Everson, I got to tell you, obviously, you guys can hear his expertise in this field, as I promised you. I'm sure you learned a lot of things uh, watching and listening to the show. Everson, I got to tell you, I really appreciate you coming on Mr. Biz Radio. Thank you very much, really. Is that yeah, like absolutely. Yeah, awesome, awesome. So go out again, guys. Go out to midocommerce.com. That's midocommerce.com. Check out Ebers, uh company out there, what they can do for you. Like I said, it, it's, it's really an awesome process they have set up that can really help you get going and scale very quickly. They know what they do. They, they do it. They live it. They breathe it every single day. This goes along with the tip of the week. Don't DIY your business to its detriment. Find experts in these fields. And, and Everest is obviously an expert in this field in e-commerce and setting up stores and selling with Amazon, et cetera. Guys, thanks so much for watching and listening and or listening to the show. Really appreciate it. Have a great week. And uh, don't forget to you can check us out, mrbiznetwork.com. You can go to mrbizradio.com. You can find all the links to the show there as well. Have a great week. And don't forget, as always, cash flow is king. 
become part of Mr. Biz Nation. Follow him on all social media platforms or never miss a show by going to MrBizRadio.com. If you prefer free video content, visit the Mr. Biz YouTube channel or check out his streaming channel, which is available on 100 plus streaming platforms at MrBizNetwork.com.